Hi mathematicians. Today we're going to be solving unit rate problems. And uh, as we learned in the videos before, a rate is a is the quotient of two of two numbers. Um, so of two quantities. So we have uh, two numbers uh, are being divided, and their units are being divided as well. For more information on what a unit rate is, please watch the video on unit rate. But today we're going to be solving unit rate problems. Uh, and the whole idea with unit rate is that when you hear the word unit, you always want to get down to one. So you always want to get the units down to one. Uh, one, of the, one of the tools that you can use in order to solve rate problems is a double number line. And a double number line is going to be really helpful because we have two different units that are occurring. So let's read this word problem. Let's underline all of the quantities. A quantity is a number with units. So if it says, if James earned $72, so $72 is a quantity, the number being 72, the unit being dollars, in eight hours. That's a quantity, eight being the number, units being hours. How much money? Well, money is going to be measured in dollars, but we don't know how much. So we're going to put a question mark for that. And would he earn in three hours? in three hours at that rate at what rate at this rate of seventy two dollars in eight hours okay so again the tool that we can use is called a double number line diagram so a double number line is literally going to have a double number line so that it'll have one number line here and another number line here and the reason why we have two number lines is because this number line is going to count one unit and the other number line is going to count the other unit. In this case, our two units are dollars and hours. So on the top, this top number line will count dollars and this bottom number line is going to count hours. Okay, and if this is a number line, this start of the number line was going to be zero dollars to zero hours. Now this right here is actually the the comparison that that is taking place. Now we're going to read the problem and we're going to place the numbers where the units belong. So it says uh, if James earns seventy two dollars, seventy two is modifying dollars. So therefore seventy two is going to go over here. And in eight hours, seventy two dollars in eight hours. So eight hours is going to go right here. I'm going to place the eight hours right here. Now this has to match. These, this is a rate so it has to match. Seventy two dollars for every eight hours. And then we're going to keep on reading. How much money, money, how much money, I don't know how many dollars, so I'm going to put a question mark right, right there. How much money would he earn in three hours? So how much money is going to correspond to three hours? So now I'm going to look at my numbers and the numbers that are located on dollars is incomplete. The numbers that are associated with hours is complete. If I look at eight and three, which of these actually comes first on the number line? Three would come first. So I'm going to place this, this comparison right here, right here first. So how many dollars give me three hours? And then I'm going to place eight then I'm going to place eight, um, $72 to eight hours over here. $72 to eight hours. Now, looking at this problem, uh, if this were a number line, all these numbers would make sense. Zero, three, eight in the right order, zero, something, 72. So whatever this number is, just by looking at it, I know the answer has to be less than 72. Okay? All right. So to solve this problem, you actually go to the unit that has all of the information complete. Look at dollars. Are all of the numbers complete with dollars? No. But all of the numbers with hours is complete. So I'm going to go by my known rate. And in order to figure out how many dollars I have in three hours, I would first need to figure out how many dollars I have in one hour. So I want to get the hours down to one hour. So I'm going to place another line here, and I'm going to try to get eight hours down to one hour. 
What do I have to do to get eight hours down to one hour? Well, I have to divide by eight. And once I figure out what that is, then I have to, now I know what one hour is, I want to figure out what three hours gives me, and that will tell me how many dollars I, 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 I need to um, earn, or James can earn. So to get from one hour to three hours, I'm going to multiply by three. So essentially, I'm going to do the same thing to these numbers up here as well. So the first statement that I'm going to write, so basically to solve this, what I would do is, because I've divided uh, 8 by 8 to get 1, and then multiplied 1 by 3 to get 3, I'm going to do the same thing to the numbers up here. So I'm going to divide 72 by 8, and then whatever that is, I'm going to multiply by 3, and that should give me how many dollars I have. So to, we can write statements over here, and I will have 8 hours gives us $72. 8 hours gives us $72. Dollars, And I'm going to have to divide by 8, and then I'm going to multiply whatever that is by 3. I'm just copying these actual arrows down so I see my steps. So 8 hours divided by 8 is 1 hour, and then 1 hour times 3 is 3 hours. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, think about this as a as a rate and to make an equivalent rate I have to multiply or divide both quantities by the same number so I divided 8 by 8 to get 1 so I have to do what to the $72 divide 72 by 8 as well so 72 divided by 8 is written like this and 72 divided by 8 is 9 nine dollars so every one hour I'm going to get nine dollars now what do I have to do uh, to get from one hour to three hours? I multiply by three. So I'm going to have to multiply the nine dollars by three as well. So nine times three is going to give me 27. And that's going to give me 27 dollars. So if I put a 27 right here, this should answer my question. How, many dollar, how much money would he earn in three hours at that rate? Well, let's just check to see if things make sense. Uh, eight divided by eight is one. 72 divided by 8 is 9, and then 1 times 3 is 3, and then 9 times 3 is 27. And I can figure out what a missing number is in, in a rate problem if I use a double number line diagram. So the first step is to, once you're given a rate, get down to the unit rate, so get down to what one of them is, in this case 1 hour, and then once you find what 1 is, then you can multiply it by 3. And uh, this is this is the case for for any problem. So if this were a five, then we would have divided by eight and then multiplied by five, and then we would have done the same thing: divided seventy-two by eight and then multiplied by five. But this is a three, so I multiply by three. The answer to this question is James would earn twenty-seven dollars in three hours. James would earn twenty-seven dollars in three hours, and that answers my question. and we underline the quantity. So whenever you have a uh, rate problem, you are going to use a double number line diagram in order to figure out what the answer is, and that's a quick way to draw it out.